All right, welcome back to the 8-1.2 assignment page. Um, in the previous video, we went over the notes for how to find the product of powers. So just as a reminder to you, whenever you have the same base, so in this case, an A and an A, um, if you are multiplying them, then you add the exponents. So in our practice problems that we did together, we used the commutative property to switch our order and the associative property to switch our grouping, and that allowed us to do some simplification. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at number 9 and number 18, just to give you a little bit more if you need it. Um, so in number 9, there are no coefficients, and when I say coefficients, I just mean the numbers that are out in front of your variables. Um, so you don't have to worry about like finding numbers and, and putting numbers together. You just need to put the, the y variables together and the z variables together. So I'm going to start by doing that. In the first monomial, I have a y squared term. And in the second one right here, I have just a y. And then I want to do the same thing with my z's. So I've got a z and then I've got a z squared in the second one. Now I, when I'm doing z's, I always put a little kind of, it's almost like you're crossing your t, only you're crossing your z. Um, I do this so that it doesn't look like twos because my twos kind of look like z's. So be careful with that. Um, that's one way to differentiate between a two and a z is by, by crossing your z. Once you have the order switched up and your y's are together and your z's are together, you have to think, okay, I know that I am multiplying. That's what the parentheses are telling us to do. Um, so I keep the base and then I want to add my exponents. Now when I look at the y by itself here, there is no exponent written, um, but we need to remember that that just means that there's a phantom one. So we're gonna do two plus one. So that's our y stuff. And then we want to do a similar um, for the z. So the base stays the same. And then the z has no exponent. So again, it's just a phantom. And then we have a 2 like uh, for our exponent on the second one. So we've got 1 plus 2 for this one. All we have to do is simplify now. So we've got keep the base, so y. 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. And then a z, we've got 1 plus 2. Um, so we've got 3. Now, if you're getting super good at this, you might be able to just look at it and be like, okay, I've got a y squared and a y. So all together, I have y to the third. So 2 here, 1 there. And then you can say, okay, I've got a z here and 2z here. So bring it down. We've got a total. We have got a z, and there are three of them. So it could be that you can skip the work shown um, once you get a little bit more familiar with this process. Um, scrolling down to number 18, this is the last one. Um, this one has numbers involved, so we're going to switch up our order. We've got a negative 2 in the first monomial. We've got a negative 4 in the second. Then I'll do my C's, so I've got C to the fourth, and then C in the second monomial, and then I've got D in the first and D in the second. Okay, so this I have successfully put the numbers together, I've put the C's together, and I've put the D's together. Okay, now I am going to switch my grouping. So negative 2 times negative 4, so I'm multiplying the numbers. I'm going to multiply my C's, so C to the fourth and C. We've got a phantom 1 in there, so we've got C to the 4 plus 1. And then D, we have two Ds here that both have phantom 1s. Here's a 1, here's a 1. So I'm going to do 1 plus 1. And we can simplify this. So negative 2 times negative 4, a negative times a negative is going to be positive. 2 times 4 is 8. And then we've got C, we keep the base, and then 4 plus 1, again, we're just adding these exponents, so 4 plus 1 is 5. Um, then we move on to the D, so D, keep the base, 
And then we have 1D, 1D, 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2. So I hope this makes sense. Um, if you're struggling, do not hesitate to reach out and ask questions. I'm happy to help when I can. All right, good luck, guys.